Hello. There are so many bottles, so many choices. My wife and I are here to help you out. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you'll learn about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, my wife is going to help us out because I don't know too much about bottles, I'll be honest. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. So let's get to it. So I want to do a quick overview of uh, five different types of bottles, both glass and plastic, that I used when my son, who's now two, was feeding both breast and formula, and take them apart so that you can see what they look like inside, what you're going to have to deal with in cleaning, and tell you a little bit about uh, how I felt about each bottle. Each baby's different, so you may have to sort of use more than one bottle to find what your baby really likes, uh, but this will give you a good idea of, of the most popular brands. So this is a glass bottle, born free. Uh, you might still be able to see a little bit of the brand name across the top here in the middle. Um, it's mostly been washed off now. I did start hand washing everything in the beginning, and then as he got a little older, I moved to the dishwasher because I couldn't keep up with all of his feedings and have clean bottles for him all the time. So I'm just gonna take this bottle apart. The top kind of just pops on. And then this is one with a venting system. The venting system is in the top. This is if you're traveling, this is a travel cover that you put on to keep the milk from coming out into the nipple. So when you take the top off, you don't have milk everywhere. So that's just a travel cover. And then this is the vent system for the bottle. And it's a plastic, hard plastic top, soft plastic bottom. It just sort of mushes together uh, and comes apart like that. Formula does get stuck, especially in here. Even when you're mixing the formula, you have to shake real well to get all the formula out of here. Uh, and when you're cleaning, it's, it's a little bit of a pain to take it apart and get everything all good and clean, especially if you're doing it by hand. The dishwasher did a pretty decent job, but sometimes there was still formula stuck in some of these creases. Uh, the nipple, of course, comes out and they give you its exchangeable nipples for the different flow types and sizes. Uh, as the baby grows, you'll have to use bigger nipple holes uh, to keep up with their pace. And then it's just a glass bottle. I did find when I researched online that sometimes these bottles were made in the United States. Sometimes these bottles were made in China. Uh, there's kind of a controversy about glass bottles and what's in them and the glazing process and how they're finished versus what country they come out of. So a lot of people are debating, are glass bottles better than plastic bottles? Um, and a lot of that depends on where you're getting them and what's in them and how they're finished and glazed. This one says right on the bottom, made in China. So you, you might want to investigate that if that's a concern of yours. Go ahead and just put this back together again. Put the nipple back in. And they come in, of course, Born Free comes in two different sizes. And these bottles worked fine. Uh, they weren't my favorite, but they were good. Uh, but because they're glass, these are the two different sizes, because they're glass, uh, I did have a bad experience where once my son was old enough and strong enough to hold his own bottle, I was in a store and I had one of these with me and he decided to toss it and it broke. And had anybody been standing close enough, they could have been cut by the flying glass that came back off the wall that he shattered the bottle against. So I do not recommend glass bottles for travel. Um, I started using them at home only at that point because I didn't want to be in that situation again. And of course it left a huge mess for somebody else to have to clean up, which I also didn't care for. Um, and they're heavy. So once they're full, uh, they're, they're a heavier bottle to use and to carry. So a couple of things about glass bottles to be aware of when you're considering purchasing bottles. And these are more expensive bottles also. So those are glass. These are two other types of glass bottles. This is an Advent. This is an even flow, uh, both glass. Uh, I believe this one, this one doesn't tell you where it's made. This one was made in Mexico. So there you go. Uh, they, they, I believe they make smaller versions of these bottles, but I don't have them with me. Uh, neither of these have any type of venting system. This is a very simple bottle, um, just a simple nipple. Um, and you just pull it out. The nipple, this one is a little bit harder. The nipple's a little harder to manipulate in and out. This is a very simple as well. Just, it just comes apart here like this and you take out the nipple, just like an old fashioned bottle. This is a very old fashioned type of bottle. Um, 
my, I was very lucky my son was not very colicky and not very gassy, but I do not, for a gassy, colicky baby, these would be bottles that I would keep as spares, not as my main bottles, um, because I don't think for a gassy, colicky baby, these would be my go-tos for everyday use. Um, I would just kind of keep them around as spares. Again, glass, heavy, and breakable. So, moving on to the plastic bottles, we did also Dr. Brown's, two different sizes of those. Um, this is a very popular brand, very highly recommended for colicky, gassy babies um, because it does have the vent system as does Born Free. And so again, I'll take this apart so you can see it. It's got the, you know, the plastic bottle and then it's got this piece that sits inside the bottle like this. And this, these two pieces go together. This is some sort of plastic, soft plastic, and it just kind of goes into this harder plastic piece into the bottle. You put the nipple on top and screw it down. Um, and the bigger bottle has the, the top on it. They're both exactly the same. They work exactly the same. Uh, the, the top, though, I did have a, a problem. If, if this piece inside isn't sitting exactly correctly on the, on the bottle top, you can get some leakage. And once you've traveled, if you travel with this bottle, when you go to open it, you don't know there's been leakage until you open the bottle and then the milk's, in my case, all over the floor at the doctor's office. Made a huge mess. Um, the only thing that I really liked about this bottle was that, and this was just because I was using uh, the brand pump that I was using, but I was breastfeeding and this bottle would screw directly into my breast pump so that I could just pump directly into the bottle, cap it, and be on my way. Uh, I didn't have to do anything other than that. Uh, but I, I didn't find it. I didn't find this bottle to be hugely advantageous, um, and it was it was more difficult to clean. It had a lot of moving parts inside to kind of make sure you had everything. So if you are, you know, you have a lot of things on your mind when you have a newborn, uh, you have to remember all of these little parts. Otherwise, this bottle's not going to work. So if you're anywhere and you've forgotten any part of this bottle, your baby's not going to be able to eat from it. So uh, simplification would be, in, it was in my best interest. I, I didn't like all the little parts that I had to remember and keep track of with these bottles. Um, but they're plastic, so they're lighter. Uh, these do say made in the US, yeah, both of them say made in the USA on the bottom. So uh, as far as BPA is concerned and uh, that type of thing, if, you, if, if, if that makes you more comfortable, then the made in the USA label is on the bottom of these. And then my by far and away favorite bottles were these bottles that the baby's father brought home one day just to try out as sort of, uh, I thought they would end up being my spare use bottles. I didn't really give them a second thought. He got them because he liked the shape of them because I wanted to be able to keep my son in a more upright position and still be able to feed him. And when you go to feed a baby with a straight, with a straight bottle like this, it's sometimes difficult to do that without having to lay them down. But when you have a bottle with this shape, it's much easier to keep them upright and feed them with the bottle. So that was one big advantage that I found with these bottles was their shape made it a lot easier to keep my son upright and feed him all the way to the end of the bottle without having to tilt him back to accommodate the shape of the bottle. Uh, the other thing that I really like about this bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart as well, uh, this top, the way that this top is designed to fit on this bottle, if you have it on correctly, then there is not gonna be any leakage from the, from the nipple. You won't have a big ring of, of milk down here. When you take it off, it's gonna go flying out. This keeps that from happening. So these are great travel bottles. They're plastic, so they're light. And uh, I really like the feature of the fact that this fits on top of the nipple so that there's no leak on the nipple. This is the only top that I found that was like that. And on some of these, they even fit on the bottom because I had a big problem with my son throwing these little caps in stores and I'd have to try and find them because I do like the fact that they fit on here so well. So I always wanted to keep them. The other really nice thing is, again, if you're out and traveling, you have usually, what I would do is I would fill the bottle with as much water as I thought I would need. So in this case, when he was a little older, this is an eight ounce bottle. I would fill it up with eight ounces of purified baby water and keep and then, and then cap it. And then I would keep the powdered formula separate. And this is after, after I was done breastfeeding. And um, then when I'm out in a store, uh, you know, you're touching other things and you don't always have time to wash your hands when your baby needs a bottle. So a lot of times you just have to kind of stop in the middle of a store and make the bottle on the spot. 
and my, I was always worried that my hands might not be completely clean and I didn't want to have to touch the nipple that was then going to go in my child's mouth so that I could make his bottle. And this was the only bottle that I found where I could leave it with the cap on, take the entire top off. There's no parts inside here for me to have to remove. Whereas like with the Born Free bottle, if I'm gonna make him a bottle and I take off this cap, I then also have to remove this in order to put the formula in and then shake it. So I always had to touch a part inside. Same thing with Dr. Brown's bottles. But with this bottle, I took this cap off with my hand on the outside, put his, dumped his formula in, and then I could recap it still with my hand on the outside of the cap, shake it, and my hand never had to touch his nipple. I can now remove the cap, feed him, and I never had to touch the nipple with my dirty hand. So, I mean, I would use wipes to wipe my hands off, but I still felt like my hands might be dirty. So I just, I always felt better washing with soap and water, and that's not always possible when the baby needs a bottle. Uh, the other really nice thing is, there's nothing that drops down into the bottom of these bottles. Unlike any of these other bottles, the bottom of this bottle completely removes. So you have a completely hollow bottle, and you can clean, you can get in here really well to clean this bottle out. So if you're hand washing your bottles, this one is a hundred times easier to wash. And then it has this bottom, and this is a vented system. So if you see that the front says vent air, this is a vented system. The vent on this one, instead of being on the top, is in the bottom. So this little ring pulls out and you can clean all of this, you can clean all of this, and you stick it back in and you pop this back in here like this. Tight, you have to make sure it's good and tight, otherwise you can get a leak with any other bottle as well and then you put this back on and you're good to go. The venting system is in the bottom. So as he's feeding, the air is coming out here and you can actually hear it if it's real quiet um, and the baby's sucking, you can hear the vent working. So I never had a problem with colic with these bottles and I was able to keep him more upright using these bottles. And that was, that was made, made this my favorite bottle. It's easier to clean, it's plastic, so it's lighter to carry around. Uh, the capping system kept his nipple clean for me. And this um, plastic piece was, was very easy for me to take apart and clean and not have to worry about when I was out traveling and needing to do his formula. I did find, however, and I don't know what the reason is for this, I ordered this set because I liked the ones that uh, my husband brought home so much that the, he originally brought home the six ounce, the smaller bottles. And I liked them so much, I went online and I ordered the eight ounce bottles, so I'd have a set of those as well. When he brought the six ounce bottles home, they came with a blue ring, and the ones I ordered online came with a clear ring. Now, it doesn't matter, these are interchangeable. This one fits in here, this one fits in here. It doesn't matter. You can change them in and out, it doesn't matter the size of the bottle, which is really nice. Again, nipples are interchangeable as well for the different flowing, uh, to keep pace with the baby, they'll have different stages that they have to go through. You'll get, you know, flow one stage, two stage, three stage. And for some reason, when I ordered them offline, this clear piece seemed just a little bit more flimsy to me than the blue ones that the bottle originally came with. Um, it wasn't a huge deal. I mean, they're they're plenty sturdy enough, and I used them just fine. I never had a problem with them. Um, I just they were just a little bit different. They're a little bit different kind of plastic than this one is. So that was just one, one difference, and I, I don't know what the reason is for it, if that's just this is more an updated or this is more an updated wh whatever. I'm not sure, but there was a little bit of a difference there. This plastic's just a, just a little different than this one. Um, I stuck all of them in the dishwasher uh, without any sort of a problem, and I mostly, I was using breast milk, and then when I moved to formula, I mostly traveled with uh, bottles already pre-filled with just plain water, which was room temperature, and I just add the formula to it. Babies don't necessarily need a super warm bottle, they just need for it not to be cold. Most babies won't take a cold bottle. Um, they just need it to be at least room temperature. Some of them prefer it a little bit warmer than that, but even breast milk isn't super warm. It's not like a cup of coffee that we would drink. Uh, so it doesn't have to be that warm. So even just taking the room temperature baby water I found was a lot easier for me making the bottles on the spot using room temperature baby water and the formula and uh, just shaking up the bottle and giving it to him that way. And he transitioned from warmer breast milk to, to regular room temperature formula just fine that way. Um, after He rejected a little bit at first, he spit it back out, um, and then but he took it after a couple of tries. It wasn't a huge deal to him. And uh, so these were the bottles that were my, my by far and away favorites. The rest were, they did the job, but these were the ones that I kept going back to over and over again and would use again um, for the next baby. 
So hopefully that helps you and that should be it.